What's up everybody? My name's Russ. I'm with RWGResearch.com. I'm excited about this video. I haven't got to play with this thing in a long time. This video series is called When I Was a Kid. I built this and this is number 10. Whew. Probably the last one I'm going to do today. Um, I actually don't feel good today. haven't felt good today. have a migraine. Blah, blah, blah. Life is what it is, but uh, let's move on. Are you guys ready for this? This is this is a lot of fun. Okay, when I was a kid, I wanted to build a CD shooter. Okay, now I never actually built the like handheld gun version of a CD shooter, um, but I did figure out how to design it, how to build it, and how to make it work. Okay, so in the process of doing that, this is what I built. Now, my uncle at the time helped me weld this up. But this is the device. This is all it is right here. Trick to get the CDs to actually shoot. And I'll show you what it is if I can get that to work. It's pretty dangerous. We're going to see if I don't break anything. Um, I have these safety glasses on because this is a seriously dangerous thing. In college, when I, I brought this to college to play with it uh, as well because it's a lot of fun. We'd shoot CDs down the hallways. <laughs> Bad idea. But one of my friends thought it would be a good idea. One of my roommates thought it would be a good idea to hit one of the CDs with a golf club while it was spinning. Needless to say, he had a piece of CD through his lip, all the way through his lip. So this is a dangerous device. Um, I remember um, a lot of CDs in my dad's house. The insulation was just insulation within the rafters because I was in the basement a lot. Um, and I, you can go down there right now and actually still see pieces of CD stuck in the ceiling. So this was a dangerous device, but I had one heck of a time with it. It was a lot of fun. So let me show you what it is. This is how it works, okay? It's just two bearings. I don't even remember where I got these from. Probably got them out of a, um, a VCR head, because that's what I usually took apart. Um, and this is just a clamp. This clamp is bigger than what the motor is, because I switched the motor out. It's just got a big gear on it. You can see that this is actually bent. You can see, you know, that's, you know, that's bad, but it's the motor that I had at the time. It's got a switch on it, and it's got a port for a DC power supply. It's got two belts on it, because I'd always break these. My uncle helped me make these parts at the time. I was, man, this was, this was a long time ago. Long time ago. Um, long time ago. I don't even, I mean, this was probably beginning of, of high, uh, preschool. So preschool. Did I just say that? Let me rephrase the beginning of middle school preschool what was wrong with me anyway it's been a long day so what do I got alright I'm gonna plug in this DC power supply and uh... like this and this is what happens when you turn it on Okay. yeah it's dangerous um, this is a 24 volt power supply 12 volt works but I like the speed now you might be asking um, CD shooter are you freaking kidding me what the heck is a CD shooter well here is a stack of my CDs. All right, yes, a stack of my CDs. Now, if that looks like a lot of CDs, um, it kind of is. Oh, but um, when you when you when you find out that as a kid, um, I would go to Walmart and have me and my friends all raid the AOL CDs. You know how they all had. This is probably terrible footage. All had AOL CDs everywhere, and you'd get them in the mail. I'd have people collect them and give them to me. And this is my collection of CDs. I could probably cover half of my freaking roof. This is insane. I have so many of these CDs. So, let's show you how the CD shooter works. Alright. Uh, I'm going to set the camera off a little because it's dangerous. So basically, you just take a CD... And uh, I've got this over the concrete right now because if you didn't know this, CDs bounce really, really well. And uh, I just lost my power supply. CDs bounce really, really well. Okay? So I made this little thing that you can press a CD on here. And you get it just right. And it'll probably come flying off before I get the opportunity to push it off. So, are you ready? Can you see it in there? Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> I 
you know, I used to do this out in my dad's garage. We had a big concrete floor, and I used to do it downstairs a big concrete floor. I used to have a lot of fun. Here we go. Let's get it going fast. <laughs> Yeah, so you can imagine as a kid, I had a lot of fun with this. There went one bouncing. That's a good bouncer. Now you can get this thing high and you can really get these things bouncing. My, my concrete's got paint on it, so it doesn't bounce very well. You can imagine how dangerous this was. Freaking crazy. Oh, let's see if I can get a let's see if I can get a little bit better of a side shot for you. It's freaking dangerous is all get out. Let's get the going fast. Oh! Lost my belt. Hold on. This is what happens. This is why I have a double belt, because this this thing, I'm surprised this has lasted this long. Here we go. Oh, that didn't go very fast either. Oh! <laughs> Let's see why I get one. Going. <laughs> now, now that we've established what a CD thrower is, let me see. It really takes two people to actually like do this correctly, but I'm going to try something. Um, this is why the CD thrower is dangerous, okay? I am going to actually hold this in the air, and I'm going to flick a CD off here. It's going to hit the ground, and it's going to explode into pieces, okay? That's what's going to happen. I know this is what's going to happen because I used to do it for fun all the time. So I'm going to stand out of the path and see we don't break any light bulbs. And uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, I lost my power again. I've just got some alligator clips holding all this stuff together. Oh, there we go. All right. This is so dangerous. But it is so much fun. You can imagine doing this in middle school, just playing out of this stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! You know, I don't recall ever ever remembering them exploding that big. I need to I need to set this up to 60 frames a second and see if we can capture this. Okay? That was crazy. That was crazy. guys 60 frames a second I'm gonna aim for right here okay we will see if we can capture it I'm gonna aim for, for right there this is so dangerous I love it all right here we go watch out Snickers oh 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 that one's bouncing We'll try it again. Sometimes they don't explode. Sometimes they actually stay together. So here comes another one. Oh, that thing is flying, man. All right, let's try another one. Well, those are holding together pretty good. Here comes one more. Let's see if we can get this one to break. Nope. 
That one. That one wasn't going fast enough. Alright, here we go. This sounds like a good one. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is this is great. I'm gonna do another one. Was absolutely insane and I know like you guys couldn't see it but it hit the wall and the wall and the wall and the wall and it bounced back and forth in between my shop that's like that's a that's a good distance to be to be bouncing so I did get I'll see if we captured that last one but we've had some good ones now I gotta clean up my mess all right this has been Russ your host rwresearch.com wait I'm not done I got more absolutely insane all right well this is becoming a long video but I want to try to show you how to actually create a CD shooter now that I've completely like trashed my shop again with CD bits everywhere um, so this is how you would create a CD shooter all right first thing you need to do <clears throat> you need to have this on the ground all right this needs to be on the ground and I need to redo my uh, my belt again. This needs to be on the ground. You need to get a CD going not really too fast because if it's going too fast it's just going to explode. Now it would work good if it was going too fast and you could get it to work right. But you need to be able to fire a CD and then as it's traveling you need to grab it. Okay. So, I think you can see, but you just, you just, you can grab it like this and it'll just catch your fingers and it'll throw it really, 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 really hard. See if I can get it to do. I probably should wear gloves, but whatever. Here we go. Like that. Alright, did you see it? Let's move you back. Do it this so you can actually see it. Gotta grab it just right and you can get it to you can get it to fly across there. Okay, that's how it that's how it works. Now, I, I made a jig one time that would catch them and throw them and it worked really well. Anyway, that's how it works. 
That is Russ's CD thrower from when I was a kid. I played with this thing a lot. And again, this is a dangerous, dangerous toy. And uh, luckily, I didn't poke my eyes out. I don't, I don't recall actually wearing safety glasses when I was playing with this, but I probably should wear an entire body shield and a face shield because you saw the destruction of some of those. All right, well, this is Russ, your host, rwgresearch.com is my website. Um, yeah, this is insane. Um, I will say that uh, I got a whole bunch more stuff to show you, but today's, I'm running out of time today. I'll probably end up finishing a lot of the new uh, newer videos here in a little while. Another day, maybe. Um, but I got more. All right, peace and love to you all. Have a good day. Laters. Hey.